Well, hey, it's Katherine from KatherinePuller.com. Today's video is a little special because it's part of a video hop for Laura. She hit 7,000 subscribers. That is pretty darn special considering she is a teenage stamper and blogger and YouTuber. Awesome. <laughs> so thanks, Laura, for including me in your celebration video hop. In today's video, we are going to use some Ellen Hudson dies some zig markers and some creative medium. Eva's hanging out with me today, so she I've had to film this like how many eight times cuz she's chomping on potato chips and the dog's picking up the crumbs and they're making all kinds of ch crunching noises. <laughs> so anyway, I'm excited to get started. Be sure to you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd love to have you as a subscriber and let's get started. going to be using the Yikes Stripes Stencil by Studio 490 Wendy Becky and the Creative Medium. This is iridescent and it's a little bit greenish because it's iridescent green. Does that make sense? Yes. <laughs> so this iridescent Creative Medium is basically an embossing paste, very similar. It's kind of gel-like and it has an iridescent quality and it has like an interference property to it. So when you do it on white, it looks one way, but when you do it on black, it's gonna look a different way. <laughs> and if you visit my blog post about this, I can give you a peek at another card I did. I think I did that one for Stamp Nation actually. So I can give you a peek of just what it looks like when you do it on black, but it'll be way more green than it is on the white. So I'm gonna pull up the stencil revealing the stripes. We'll let this dry and while it is, we'll work on the die cutting and zig markering part. So I'm using the Wild Garden dies by Ellen Hudson. I've used these flower dies a ton. I love them. They're really versatile, really cute. And I'm going to color them with my zig markers. I'm gonna start with blue. So I'm using the cobalt blue and I'm gonna color in the center. And then I'm gonna take this lighter blue, it's light blue, <laughs> and I'm gonna color around the outside. One of the beauties of zig markers is that they will blend right together, right on your paper. I wanna add a little more dark. And then there's harsh line here, so I'm just gonna blend them. And then if you want to darken up the center even more, I'm gonna grab Persian green, do a little bit more in the center, and then I wanna blend that out. So I'll get that cobalt again and just blend it. For this color, I'm gonna use orange and bright yellow. And if you don't want to keep it in the little negative like this, you don't have to. It just seems to me uh, to be a little bit easier to color when it's inside here. I actually had another one and I was coloring it just by holding it like this. And uh, one of my kids thought this was like pretty, um, what's the word for it? Pretty inefficient, how's that? <laughs> she wanted to know why I didn't color it first and then cut it out. And that's because I want the centers of the flowers to be darker. So that is the method to my madness. And then when I hold it like this, I can color the edges if you care about that. So that is why I do what I do. Next, we're gonna move on to two of my favorite colors, violet and purple. So we'll do the violet in the center because it's darker. And you could do lighter in the center if you want. I always say art is subjective. It's whatever floats your boat and makes you happy. Whatever looks good to you. And then we'll blend out this purple color. I'm just applying color right now and then I'll go back and blend. If you haven't seen any of my videos yet on the zig markers, I'll link them at the end so you can check them out. But be sure to go along with the video hop first. And also, if you check out my blog, I'll, I'll have uh, information there as well. All right, so we'll go in and blend those out. For the leaf, I'm using light green and green. I think I'm just gonna 
ditch that piece. How's that? If you want to attach it inside the negative and make it not slip around, you can put a little bit of painter's tape on the back and that will help. And now if you're working on a piece and you find that it's too dark, just take a paper towel and kind of dab it and that will help remove a little bit of the color. And if you wanna even lighten it up some more, you can add a little bit of water to your paper towel and dab it up and that will lighten it too. We've got one last piece here. We're gonna go with pink and red and pink. So light pink, pink, and carmine red. Now I wanna blend be between the dark pink and the red. And then I want that darker pink to kind of fade into the light pink. We've got all the flowers and the leaf colored. So I'm going to use the zipper panel die, which you can tell I haven't used it as a zipper panel yet. I'm lazy, <laughs> but I've used these sentiments here and there's a celebrate and a congrat. So I've punched it out of black and I'm going to add some bling to it. So I'm just using my Wink of Stella. I actually have gone through two Wink of Stella pens so far already. And I just love them. And I found that if you pull this piece off right here, you might need a little help prying that off. But you can add water in here and then it will pick up all of the sparkly goodness that kind of settled into the bottom and you can get a lot more mileage out of your pen that way. Awesome. And then I'm just gonna poke it out and I'm gonna start assembling my card. Now my stenciled creative medium pieces are dry and I have enough supplies here to make two cards, so let's do that. I'm just adding this to a black card base. And when I use liquid glue, I love it because I can move my layer around until I feel like it looks lined up to my eyeball. <laughs> because it takes a minute for that liquid glue to dry and you get a minute to play with it. So if you see in the light here, can you see like a little gray hint or hue or tinge to that cardstock or that creative medium? Very cool. We'll just add some 3M mounting tape on the back, give a little dimension to this card, and we'll add it to the card base. Now I'm just playing with the clustering here I'll just add a little liquid glue to the back of these flowers and just lay them down. I really love the vibrant colors that these turned out to be. They look awesome. And then I have my little greeting and just a little liquid glue on the back of that and then we'll apply it. I'm thinking I want to add some sequins to this. And then to get this to all lay flat, I'm just going to grab a scrap piece of paper, make sure my positioning is pretty much where I want it. I'm going to lay it over the top and then I'm going to press it down. And we'll just rub over the top and that will help kind of lay this flat as it's drying. I have a little pokey tool also. The end of a pair of scissors would work too, just to kind of press it down, make sure this is all sticking where I want it to stick. So now on this very last little flower, I'm going to add tiny little slivers of dimensional adhesive because I want this orange flower to, to, po to pop up off the card. The rest of them are going to be flat. And then we'll just position this right here. And I think I'll put this little blue one right down here and then the celebrate. Now sometimes my videos take me hours to film, not because the project takes me hours, but because I get interrupted and things happen and now I don't have any potato crunching kids in here, but if you hear activity in the other room, Eva's friend came over, her best friend since she was one, not even one, like a few months old. <laughs> so they are in the other room right now horsing around. They're too funny. 
I added a few sequins and I'm really excited about how this card turned out. I hope you enjoyed the process. Thank you so much to Laura for inviting me into her celebration 7,000 YouTube subscriber video hop. If you like hops like this, give us all a thumbs up so that we know to do more of them for you. And be sure to subscribe to my channel and also be sure to check back on Monday because I am going to do a card like this, but the opposite. So I can't wait to share that one with you too. I will see you again soon. Thanks for being here. Bye.